everyone. Welcome to Quantum Phase Technologies. I'm Coreblade and I'm developing Tales of Nowhere the video game. Sorry for that slight delay, still trying to get everything up and running and working out no problem. Um, I'm finally back to two monitors so everything's going to go a little bit more smoothly and I'll be able to check and make sure that I'm actually still online because I do have issues with that sometimes. Um, so. Anyway, uh, welcome back. Thank you for joining me. And uh, today we're going to be working on houses, actually. So last week, we were putting together some people who were adding NPCs into the villages. And I ran into a slight issue in that I didn't have a place to put the NPCs. There were no houses. So um, today, I'm actually going to go through and I'm going to uh, just do a whole bunch of mapping. I'm just going to build out a lot of uh, houses, little living spaces for all of the NPCs in each village just to make sure that we have a place for everyone to go. So once I have that, then I can uh, go through and start populating the villages and everyone's going to have a place to stay. It'll be nice. So that's what we're going to start doing right now. And last time I was populating the forest town of Austed with uh, these homes. And I got the first two homes put together and they're looking really good. The third one I started putting together. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, I started putting together the third one and um, I was kind of running into some space limitations uh, on that. Uh, but the first two looked really nice and they were coming out uh, pretty good. So I might actually use this pattern for the third one. Um, so that, that uh, we can get it to work, which actually, um, the pattern is the same one. So I am actually using the same pattern. Um, but I feel like we are running out of space in here, so I might actually change it and figure something else out on this one. Okay, so. This is what we're doing today. We're doing mapping here. I've got to figure this one out. All right, so in this one, uh, we've got the first home. We've got this uh, nice little stone area for the kitchen. This is a good looking kitchen. And I think we're going to repeat that for the third house. The problem that I'm experiencing on the third house is that I want it to be a, a good uh, little family cabin, or at least a, a, um, a, a couple living here in, the, in this uh, cabin. So. Um, I was thinking that I would expand this, right, one, two, three, four, five, it's five wide. This one is only three, that's obvious, and uh, this one is one, two, three, four. So I have expanded it a little bit, but that doesn't really help us with the space because, um, but the thing is you can just imagine that there's a little space behind this wall where the, the uh, people can get in or out of their bed, and uh, so this might actually work out just fine. So let's just kind of go on with this uh, sort of setup and see if we can get something set up here that's going to work out nicely. So this one just has a wardrobe and a table um, and a picture frame, that's it. This one, same thing, just a little table next to the bed and a um, chest of drawers here and a little picture frame over there. So um, that is kind of all we need here. So I actually like the table idea. Let's go ahead and put a table here. Um, and that'll be nice. We can put, I don't know, should we, should we do this one? A table with the flowers on it? Or should we make this person a little more studious? You know, let's go ahead and do flowers. And that will be just right. Okay, so I'm going to fill out the kitchen a little bit. So we need a little more food. Um, let's go ahead and put some boxes over here and then another one right over there just so that they have a little bit of food storage going on over here. Maybe a little thing of grain. This is such a small house it's not quite working that well. Maybe I should expand it a little bit. Okay. Yeah, that's what I want to do because I want this one to be um, a little bit bigger. So. I'm actually going to increase the width by, let's do five. So we'll make it 18. And uh, so same thing with the height, let's make it 18, just so we have a bit more space to work with. And I'm going to move this down because I actually want to add a little bit more up here. And that'll be kind of cool. So let's take this and I'm just going to shift this whole thing down just like that. 
And so I'll grab that and clear that out. And in fact, let's fill this space with the blackness. And then we can start expanding just a little bit. So in order to expand, the first thing I want to do actually is just pop this up by one. That is not gonna work. So I'm just going to shift it up just ever so slightly. And that gives us a little bit more room here in the bedroom area, which is really nice. The other thing I want to do is just move this out uh, just a little bit like that, actually. Yeah, something like that. I want it over here like this. There we go. Um, actually, I really like that shape. Shape ought to be just fine. Now, this is the third home. I wonder if I want to actually indicate that there's more to it here, so maybe I can um, add a little bit more here. But I'm not sure if that's going to come out looking quite right. We won't know until we try, right? Let's actually just go ahead and clear out these trees entirely just so that we have a little bit more room. And we'll add a little bit more to the house here. That looks really weird. That looks really weird indeed. Okay, so maybe one thing we can do is this. We can make it like that. There we go. Maybe. Still looks a bit awkward. <laughs> there might not be much we can do about that. I don't know that we can actually make a. You know what? This this is like Doctor Who. It's bigger on the inside for RPGs, and um, maybe we'll go ahead and just leave it like this, even though the inside is going to be uh, quite a bit larger. And maybe it should be this much larger. Actually, let's let's go ahead and move it down just a little bit. So I'm going to take this bump it down one and take this and same thing bump it in one um, that still gives us a little bit more space to work with and that'll be really nice so actually I'm just gonna clear out all of this good that'll be nice um, this one I kind of want out here Oops. like that so that we have a little more variety it just looks a, a little more interesting um, visually. Yeah, let's go ahead and, and bring that back in because that's going to be a little odd. In fact, let's, oops, let's go in just one more and is that going to be okay? Does that look, does that look um, semi-workable at all? Let's see. It, it looks very haphazard, but that's kind of what I'm going for a little bit. I just want a, a little more room just so that we can like store some stuff over here and, and have it be just a, a little bit different and visually interesting. Uh, I'm afraid it's a little too odd though. So maybe what we can do is bring this whole thing down like that. That, that gives us a little bit more room but it's still still visually interesting and okay there. Yeah, okay, this is looking a lot better. Um, good, all right. That's okay, that's gonna work out a bit better. Um, yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and put in the um, cooking area. Uh, how did we have that on this one? So this one over here, we just had this um, here, and this, this little kind of cooking area. And the chimney. What side is the chimney on over here? It's over on the far right, so let's go ahead to home number three and add us a little bit. Chimney. Is it chimney or chimney? Doesn't really matter. Alright, let's go with that, and we're going to put in a little bit of 
um, this one here, this, this guy had, yeah, yeah, because we're, we're going to switch it up just a little bit, so we're going to have this be the, the kitchen floor for this house. And that'll work out just fine. So we're going to add a little bit of this. Nope, not like that. So I've got the cooking stove near the chimney, actually, on both of these. Maybe I'll do that on the other one. Well, that is interesting. I, I did do that up on the wall, but on the first one, I didn't. Everything's down from the wall. I think I did that because I kind of ran out of space on this one. Yep, that's what I did. Man, I really condensed space on that one. That's kind of nice. All right, so this one, though, can be right out here, and something like that. Great. And then a little uh, storage area here. Yeah, that'll work. That's good. OK, great. Then we'll put in some shelving unit stuff here, like that. All right, cool. That'll work for the kitchen. Um, mostly, actually, there's some other stuff that works nicely in the kitchen. And I think it's right here. Some of these um, hanging things, like this stuff. But yeah, like pots and pans and things. So maybe I should put those there instead. Yeah, we've got stuff to work with. Okay. I like it. All right, so um, just keeping these very, very standard, very simple houses. Don't need anything too fancy. Um, there we go. We're going to have a, a slightly larger table here, and we'll put some chairs around it. And by that, I mean stools. There we go. Three. Now stick to why not? I think that's going to be just fine. Okay, so now we need on like a flowers or something on here, like a a flower centerpiece. Uh, what I need to do is add some storage for this, and that's kind of what I expanded it for, so that we could have just a little bit more. Um, storage and, and things like that so let's just add a few things here and there there we go let's give it a little more light uh, that right there okay great I think that's gonna work out perfectly so now we just need to decorate it a little bit um, let's go ahead and have a picture of flower in there Maybe an old map. Looks oh, kind of weird too. Uh, let's just do. Oh, we've already got that picture in here. Okay. So maybe we should just a uh, picture of a flower over here. Nice. That'll work. That is groovy. And then maybe some axes on the wall because they're they're tree cutters. So put like a, a set of axes right there. All right, maybe we just leave it like that. That could be good enough. Now, this, this room, actually, I kind of want to change it. Let's put some different floor material in here. Um, that looks fine. Uh, let's go ahead and fix that up. So I'm just going to make this... So I'm setting that down and then the bed on top because that's going to layer the two. It's going to look like the, the carpet kind of goes underneath. And I'm going to do the same thing with these. Oh, let's do it up there too. Wait, what did I just get rid of? So there's the table and just the bottom of those two. So we just have the flower table here. The top of the bed, of course, we can't forget that. Um, for the layering and these two, easy enough. There we go. 
So now all the furniture is underneath the carpet and uh, we've got a home. This works. So let's go ahead and make the quick event for the transfer out to the exterior. Right there. There we go. Okie doke. Okay, this is coming along just fine. Let's do a door. Excuse me. Transfer it into home three right there. Okay, perfect. Now we've just got one more house to build in this town of Austin. There we go. Better. Okay, great. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do the fourth house. Very itty nose. Okay, so this fourth one, um, maybe we'll go ahead and copy home three and change it up just a little bit to make home four. All right, and with home four, it's got the the um, chimney on the left. if we want to kind of do the same design, only we switch up where things are entirely, kind of like we did on the other two. Um, but this wall, we can like drop down here and come over, and that could be the, the bedroom. Um, that would be an interesting, that would be an interesting thing. All right, let's try it. Let's see what happens if we do just that. So, all right, let's go ahead and grab this tool. That's going to help us clear this out a bit easier. Back. I'm just going to do all of that there. Great. Okay, just going to clear everything out. Excellent. And then what I was thinking is I would take this and drop it down here and then over. Oh, that would be, oh, that would be an interesting way to access this one like that. No, that doesn't give us enough room there. Okay, but that gives us enough room. That that might actually make it a, a really interesting entryway into the bedroom. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like that. I like that. It'll work great. So now we have all this area we can do for the living space and, and uh, putting the chimney in the kitchen and all that. So this will work out wonderfully. Let's go ahead with um, maybe a smaller area. This one. Yeah, for the kitchen. Great. Okay, cool. That's going to work out great. Um, let's go ahead and make this another double room. Um, that'll work awesome. trying to think if I want this to be a family with kids, uh, which would be kind of nice, but then what would I do with the other, where would I put the other room? I'm trying to think of uh, various designs. You know what, Thinking. speaking of designs, let's go ahead and load and see if we can find a good pattern to base this off of. House one, house two. Oh, let's see. So that's got a couple of rooms in there. That's not a bad way to do it. Actually, let's go ahead and load this one in. So it's got a room up here and it's got a room down here. Oh, that's not bad. Um, can we do something like that here? If we move this up, might work. Okay. So basically, basically what we would do is take something like like this little room and put it in there. So okay. let's go ahead and grab that little room and see what happens if we jam it right down here. That might work 
fine, actually. That could be like a, a room for a child or two, and this could be the parents' room. That would be just fine, right? Let's see, how does this do it? So this just comes straight down. There's just an entrance to the left. This comes out and down, and there's an entrance to the left as well. So it comes out and down. There's an entrance, and then there's the wall, and that's fine. Actually, let's go ahead and extend this wall out here. Just to give our, our uh, kid a little bit more room. It's not going to be a lot of room, but it's going to be something. And then uh, they're going to have theirs be like this, right? There we go. Maybe in there? No, that does not. Nope, that, that does not work at all. But then this this one could just be out another one too. Why not? Why not just um, move this one out? Still a smaller room, but it's it's got a little bit more um, space to it, which is nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Okay. So that could work right there. And um, all right. So the other thing I want to do then is put a bookcase in here because that's kind of nice. I'll actually move this guy over here and get rid of that so that it, it feels a little bit more open. And I can even put a little stool right there for uh, book study. Okay, cool. That's that's a fun little room. That's nice. That'll work. Awesome. So if we take this. And we put it in here, but I want this top to it. There we go. Just make it a little different. And hmm. this one actually, if I brought that in, I did this for it. Nope. Yeah, there's not another one that does something different with that. Okay. Which is fine. But that, that was a bit odd, so... Okay. Now, one thing I could do also is I could just scoot everything in just a little bit more. So, actually get rid of that. Move this over get rid of that one and shift everything over this way that way nope not that okay that way we have um, yeah slightly smaller kind of more cozy space yeah I like that I like that I think that's good um, here we're going to put little flower table right there. Um, I'm going to add maybe one of these, maybe two, maybe a couple of those. Uh, and then this feels a little bit claustrophobic. You know, maybe I can expand this one. Just expand just this one out once, like that. Just have that go over a little bit. That might work a little bit better. It looks a little odd right there. <coughs> but I think that's gonna be okay. Yeah, I think that'll work out just fine. Uh, this one too, 
I have that right there. And um, that looks up at that one there. Now what is in home three? I don't want to mimic this too much. But there on that, what, what can we set down on? <coughs> are more a little bit more off center oh that's kind of cool that's interesting <laughs> there we go oh that's fun it doesn't really fit but it is fun hmm. oh that's cool these are neat chairs okay so Let's take a look, just want to decorate this a little bit. Oh, this guy right here. That might, that might be fine. Um, or something like this. Yeah, just a little box on the nightstand. Or maybe, um, oh God. Yeah, I do think a little box, because then there's, could be something in there, who knows? It's a little bit of a mystery, it's kind of fun. Okay, so here's what we need to do. Let's grab this and make ourselves a little table for the little dining area, and we'll just kind of fill out the kitchen now. So same thing, we're just gonna have the standard um, stuff here. Actually, let's not put that right there. Okay, good. And we'll put this out over here. Nice. Okay, and then we need just a, a nice little uh, red cupboard here. Good. And something else maybe? Yeah, they need they need extra food and supplies because they're a, a slightly larger family. Uh, great. Okay, so let's go here. I'm gonna grab some some meats and things and hang them up over there. And we will do some pots and pans and some shelves. Yeah, just a shelf with that on it. Good. Um, yeah, I don't know about that. Okay, great. So uh, we need at least three seats there. Let's go ahead and add another one just uh, for good measure. And we can add a couple of things over here, like carrots and another box over here and just a sack of flour over here or something okay cool I think that'll work that looks great <laughs> something like that over there yeah I don't know that doesn't really fit that doesn't work or make any sense it's um add there we go just a another little splash of color maybe a, a little mountain picture in there too <laughs> this is just like a little version of this room okay perfect i think this is gonna work so i'm gonna call that done call it good what is this oh that's because i copied it okay so i'm gonna create a new event so that we can transfer out to the correct place. Since this is home number four, we're gonna go out right there. Perfect. And we're just gonna delete this one. Yep. And the forest town, this door is gonna go straight into number four. Home four, right there. 
Perfect. Okay, so that's one town done. We've got the town of Osted, the forest town, and we've got four houses in it, and that's the whole town. So, fantastic. We've got places to live for all of its residents. Path to Desert has no town, or sorry, no, no, uh, yeah, it has no towns, so no doors, no uh, um, people in it. Now, this town, I've actually done, it looks like. Did I do all of the houses in here? Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight towns. Oh, Desert Inn and Mayor's House. Dang, I have. I've done, I've done all this. I've filled it in. That Mayor's House is looking really good. Nice. Ah, very cool. Bucket of water in there too. Yeah, this is looking really good. Okay, excellent. This is house six. Um, nice, simple house. That this is this is really cool. I I like this design. I like it with the, the little kitchen in here and then the little bedroom over here. Uh, it's not bad at all. Wow, that one's really messy. Oh. This is like the, the chicken keeper house. This is a really messy one. What, what was I thinking? I had a thought about that one, I think. But anyway, it's one where you can actually walk through and you can go and, and uh, talk to the chickens. And they just make chicken sounds. So anyway, OK, Desert Town, done. It's all filled out with all of its houses. I like it. So what other towns do we have? So we have, I need to uh, take a look at the map. We've got the north town, and uh, what we need to do is we have winter rest. Okay, so actually, let's take a look at winter rest. What kind of places do we need here? And it looks like we have all of the places here. Yeah, so that guy's house you can't get into. Those houses are there. That's the mayor's house. Then we've got the item and weapon shop. We've got the inn and the pub, and that's good. Okay, so that's that's winter rest right there. Sorry, my nose is just very itchy today for some reason. And I can't get it to stop. Okay, so we have the city of Ishmar that we need to take a look at too. What I need is the map. I need the map of this place. Let me see if I can find that really quick. No, I'm not seeing it. Um, I might find it. Help nowhere. There we go. Okay, I think I will be able to find it in here because I did save it in here so that it can be pulled up and, and looked at by um, the players. Okay, here we go. The map of Ishmar. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, great. So let's go ahead and full screen this. That didn't help at all. Nope. Okay, here we go. So, City of Ishmar. All right, so we've got Hobrook down here. We've got Osted, which is done now. Winter Rest is finished. And uh, the, the Desert Town is also finished over here. So, Enar is done. Winter Rest is done. Osted is done. Let's go ahead and work our way from the bottom all the way to the top. So the next one we need to take a look at is Hobrook, which I think I have I have done some on that. So let's go back and see if we can find Hobrook. I don't know if we'll be able to find it. Path to Tidon. Extended path to Tidon. Where is Tidon? <laughs> Desert town, forest town. Full Ishmar area is is it in one of these guys? Full Ishmar lower. I think. I think this might be it. Yeah, this is it. This is Hobrook. Okay. Awesome. So we do have we do have some things. So like this, where does this go? South Fork Town, House One. So that's house one. This 
house goes to house two. Goes house one and house two. Where does this one go? Oh, the door is locked. So I just had some of these doors locked. Oh, gotcha. Okay. And this one is Portmaster's office. And I'll bet this one's locked as well. Locked. Great. So that's it. I think Holbrook is done too. Excellent. So yeah, here, here are the houses there. Okay. Very nice. So yeah, all of them are fairly standard houses too. Yep, even over here. Portmaster's office. There we go. Yep. Actually, you know what? Now that I've found those... Um, no, that was the wrong one. Those uh, chairs, actually. Let me let me see if uh, I'll bet this is going to look a lot better. Oh yeah, that's way better. Okay, so I'm gonna set that there. That's gonna be good. And uh, yeah, that looks like a portmaster's office. Excellent. Okay, great. All right, so um, that is looking good. So now we need to figure out the next one. And, um, okay. All right, so we've got Hobrook, we've got Osted, we have Winter Rest in our, we are getting close to done. Now I know that Tawak we have not done. We actually haven't done a lot on that mountain village. So we'll take a look at that. So we still need Tawak, City of Ishmar, and Tidon. That's it. Those are those three places that we need to add houses to, and then we'll be completely done. Perfect. Okay, excellent. So, so the next one we need to do is the Mountain Village, which is Tawak. Mountain Village. There we are. Oh, yeah. We haven't done anything on this. Okay, so we've got several places to take a look at that. This is going to be an inn. That's going to be a, a good place to put it in. And uh, we've got um, just this little house over here. I think it's just going to stay a house. Uh, this maybe we can do as an item shop, and maybe this can be a weapon shop. So that way we only have to put in two residential homes. Um, that seems like a good plan to me. Okay, great. So. This can be the inn, and it's got kind of an L shape this way. Now we have another inn, and it's a really good one. That inn. That's really good. That's in the city of Ishmar, I think. So uh, it makes sense that that's going to be a little bit bigger. Let's actually take a look at that. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a nice big inn right there. Um, so I want it to be similar, but smaller. Actually, the Desert Town had a really nice inn, I think. Was it the Desert Town? Let's see if I can find the Desert Town again. Desert Area. That's not the Desert Town. Desert Town. Beautiful. Okay, so yeah, the Desert Inn. I think that's the Desert Inn right there. Let's just double check. Yep, Desert Inn. That's the one right there. So it's got a little bit of space over there, and then it's got an upstairs, which um, this other one will not. Nice. Okay. Okay, so something like that. Let's see. I actually, so the, the Ishmar Inn, oh gosh. We've got an Inn in Winter Rest too, don't we? Inn, first floor. Yeah, but that doesn't actually fit it either. Okay, so the one from Ishmar is actually the one that's um, a little more normal. So let's take a look at uh, the city of Ishmar's inn again, which we have lost the city of Ishmar once more. There's the city of Ishmar right there. <laughs> there we go. Okay, in first floor. All right, so I'm going to copy this. There we are. I'm going to use this for the inn in the mountain area. So where's the mountain again? Gosh, finding these places is a joke. Absolute joke. I've passed by it several times, I'm sure. 
Okay, North Fork Town, Desert Area, Forest Town, Desert Town. Why don't I have something that's called Mountain Town? Mountain Village, there it is. Okay, great. Um, so I'm going to paste the inn there in first floor, which actually this inn is only going to have one floor and it's going to wrap around uh, in the opposite direction. So I need to kind of move this whole thing over just a little bit um, and make it more, a little bit more like mountainy, kind of like a log cabin building sort of a thing. All right. And get rid of that completely. Okay, so let's get started on that. So I'm going to get rid of this whole little area right here. Great. And that's going to give us a little bit more leeway on what we do. Maybe shrink that up just a little bit there. Okay, I'm just kind of thinking about how I want it to look. All right, so if I take this whole thing and move it over here, there we go. So that's where you enter and you're going to check into your room over there, and here we go. Okay, great, pull that down, perfect. All right, now let's see, what did that look like before? There, good, that's like within, within vision of that one, so I can kind of see how that was. That was sort of opened up really nice, um, so we can kind of open that up really nice too in that way. Although actually this, this might actually work really well if we have like this one just going through here and then that right there. So so then you come in, you check in, and then you go and there, there could be uh, multiple rooms. There could be like three rooms here available. Um, that, that might work out really well. So this one, we can do like this. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I think that's gonna work out great. And we can do the same thing, just kind of put a couple of beds in uh, this area as well, just like that. Great, 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 okay. That works. Um, I do want this to be a little more uh, mountainy, so let's, yeah, how does, how does it look out here? Yeah, it's kind of a nice log cabin looking sort of a thing, so instead of these walls, we need walls like this. Okay, great. This area is going to be changed just a little bit. Um, and also, is this floor right? Yeah, I mean, it's it's really standard. But for the mountain area, we want it to look a little bit more distinct. So let's go ahead and change that. Wow, that seems like a little too much. In. Let's see, what, what does that look like? Well, that looks nice. Still mountainy, though, because of these, um, these other areas. And I like those windows there, so I don't want to lose that, because those windows are very nice. So what I need to do is do that, and then put it back. Good. And do that there, and back. Great. And do that there. Okay. And I can add the uh, paintings, pictures and stuff as I would like to later. But right now I just want to make sure that these windows don't go away because I like where they're at. Okay, good. So that'll work just fine. 
Oh, that's the innkeeper. It's like, what is that? That's the innkeeper from the other one. You can see I moved everything else. Um, but not the innkeeper, which is kind of funny. Alright, so the carpet, actually. I want to change that and make it something different. Oh, I need to continue fixing the walls. I need to make sure that these are all set up just the way they're supposed to be. Oops. Got rid of that. Actually, I'm going to that because I don't want to get rid of that and there we go no see did that on that one too okay excellent all right so that's going to work out just fine um, these three have lights in them this light is just kind of hanging out over here where was that in the other one well it's right there at the, the crossroads so I can just shift that over there and that's gonna look a little bit um, more normal. Good. Okay. Uh, I am wondering though, I'm, I'm actually kind of thinking about taking this whole thing and shifting it over one like that. Just to make it a, a little bit smaller, a little bit more narrow. And take this guy over there. Excellent. And this person right over there. Okay. I kind of want to move this, I, I want to narrow this side up as well, but I can't really do that without messing that up over there. Or can I? No, not really. So anyway, I'm just going to leave it like that. But I do want to play around with the carpet and see if there's something, no, this is going to be way too regal. Now, it's the, the mountain area, but it's not like super wealthy. Uh, that looks good. What is this one? Nope. Nice. Wait. What's the difference between that and this one? Oh, this is a darker blue. This one might actually fit this mountainous area a little bit better. Nope, definitely not that one. Not that one either. Yeah, I think that one fits a little bit better. But I'd actually, I think I might want to, there we go. Let's extend it down a little bit more and, and open up like that. Okay, so this one, um, I need to do the same thing. And this guy actually is never gonna be here. Neither are these guys. And this stuff go away too. Great. Uh, Alright, so I need to get this carpet on these floors. So let's go ahead and grab that. Close. But not quite there. Okay. So I just need to put these beds back into place. Maybe these ones right here. we want it. Maybe some blue beds. Nah. Nah, we'll leave it like that. Okay, great. Um, this one, same thing. So we want to do all of this carpet. And just put beds on either side like this. Nope, not like that. Like this. And then we had um, that little box, this one, right over here, right? No, 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 it was over here. That one wasn't, that one didn't even have a box in it. Okay, so, yeah. Yeah, it was like that little box in there. I mean, it doesn't need to be the same thing, it really doesn't, but I, I do like how it was, so I wanna make sure we don't lose too much. That one had a little box over here, which I really liked. That was a good touch. All right, so we're gonna grab this, plop it in there, grab that box, there we go. Excellent, okay, that looks very, very good. And now we can start 
filling out the rest of the room with some other uh, decorations and things. Now this, I actually kind of want to make the counter a little less fancy. There was a box up there and a quill and paper over there, which is pretty great. Um, actually, why don't I set that kind of a box right there? Great. And this quill and paper like that. Okay, excellent. Alright, and putting some some bigger boxes and containers over there I think is a, a good idea. Maybe we can put like uh, we don't want it to be too crazy. Oh that's okay though. I think that'll work out just fine. Yeah. And yeah, something like a another box right there. Okay, that'll work out just fine. No problem at all. This little guy up here, actually, I think I want to get rid of that. And this was just one of those with a plant on it. Um, we can still do a plant, just not that green one. Because I want, don't want it to be too samey. But in fact, maybe we can just um, kind of match that on the other side. Give us something else to look at. A little bit more... Uh, variety. Okay, great. Do, 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 do. What now? Alright, let's take a look at what else this one has. It's got some boxes over there. Oh, maybe a couple barrels and some shelves, some pictures, that sort of thing. So let's grab a barrel and put a couple of those there. And um, then we need to fill out the rooms a bit. So I'm going to give a just a bit of a wardrobe in each room here. Actually, let's get that wardrobe to this guy because that guy's got the box over here. <laughs> kind of like that one switching it around. Okay, and uh, this one's going to have a little table next to it. And that can have a book sitting on top of it. Great. This one too, same thing. This one can just have a little table sitting there. Um, maybe a little flower table. All right, cool. And then, uh, what else, what else? Maybe a couple pictures and whatnot. Uh, maybe some books in there too. So let's go ahead and just drop in like a, a little bookshelf up here, like that. Nice. Nice, that'll work out. And then um, we'll do like a, a picture up here, and that's that's fine actually. I think that looks wonderful for the room. Now to fill out this area just a little bit more, I'm just going to put um, a few things like you know, just I don't know why why is there rope hanging out uh, over here just in case it's needed, right? Um, what else do we want to do? Uh, let's do, I like things like this, like the, the world map I think is really nice. Is that too much? That's a little too much, right? But maybe we can put some weapons on the wall. Why would there be weapons on the wall? On display, in an inn. Maybe we can have more, oh yeah, we should have like a, a cabinet or something out here. Like this, yeah, yeah, just like a cabinet of things. No, maybe the cabinet of things, oops, all right. All right. Putting stuff everywhere. Now, see, that doesn't fit there either. Maybe there's the rope. It's 
too close to this uh, place here. So what what if we took this actually drop it down by one? There we go. And then it this this is going to feel better. It's it's going to feel like it fits in here um, a lot better. Yeah, that that fits in that area quite a bit better that way. Okay, that's cool. That'll work. And then maybe a couple more like shelves here with just random stuff on it. Okay, I think that works just fine. That's our inn for the mountain village. Perfect. And it's done. So let's go ahead and get a transfer event for both the ins and outs of this. And so it's going to transfer out to the mountain right there. And in the mountain village, this is going to have a door. What kind of doors do we have anyway? We have the most um, kind of rustic door we have right now. These are taller doors. Yeah, that's not what we're looking for. Okay, that works fine. So we're going to go ahead and have that lead us into the inn right there and bingo. We've got our first building set for this village and that's perfect. Okay, so here are the other ones. We've got, um, I was thinking that we would have this be the item shop and this could be a weapons shop or even a magic shop. Maybe you can get some really cool magic from this uh, mountain village. But then this is a, a house. This is a house, residential areas. Okay. So that is going to be great. All right, so let's just work on this little house here. Now these houses are actually going to be very similar to the houses that I built for the um, forest town. So let's kind of take a look. Although, I think, oh, let's see, tent. Well, yeah, these are tents that are set up at the North Port Town because it's been ransacked, it's been totally destroyed. I remember that now. Okay, Desert Town. Actually, maybe I should pattern uh, these houses kind of after the Desert Town houses um, and just, there we go, make them look a lot more mountainy. Okay, yeah, I think, I think that's what we'll do. So I'm just gonna copy Desert Town one and make it a mountain house. Desert, Desert Town house one and make house one uh, mountain mountain all right good so now it is a mountain house so it's gonna have the same aesthetic as this only oh yeah look this roof is actually more you know more like this great uh, but this house is going to have something different it's gonna have a totally different aesthetic so it's going to just be like totally log cabin like this. Great. Okay, that looks super good. Um, we're gonna take this. This is just uh, pots and pans, and jars, and the top of that thing. So let's replace those things. This was pots and pans, and a shelf with jars on it. Great. That was the the bread shelf right there. Okay. I wonder if anyone's going to notice that this one is exactly like the Desert Town one, just in a totally different place in the mountain. I do wonder how I want to do the floor. If I want to maybe keep it like this, that seems a little too fancy just for the house. Um, but maybe not. Maybe that's okay. Uh, I, 
don't know. Maybe this bit fancy, so we can just do wood for this floor everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be nice, because that'll be kind of more of a sort of cozy type of a feel. This doesn't have a chimney. This one has a chimney, though. Okay. This one doesn't. Hmm. So I guess the mountain houses do not have chimneys. That's okay. All right, we've got three little uh, stools here, so add those back in. And this table, add that there. Good, so sitting on the board is fine. And this uh, kitchen looks really good. And there is just an empty bucket there. That we want here. Let's have an empty wash bucket there instead. There we go. See, variety. And then we've got this uh, bed looks just fine. This wall could do with some uh, painting. Okay, that's better. And then we're going to grab this, drop it in up there, and add a picture, and we're good to go. Oh. Okay, there we go. That's it. That's great. Looks like a good town. Good. Uh, home in the mountains. Do we want that or do we want something more like this? Does that look weird? Yeah, that'll work. This is great. Okay, so awesome. We've got this uh, for the first house in the mountain village and uh, that was quick and easy. That's working great. So we're going to do a quick transfer from this to the outside. That's going to be right there. Good. And then from the outside, we're going to transfer the player into that house. And that was house one mountain. Perfect. Okay. There we go. No, that wasn't supposed to be the house. The house was supposed to be that one up there. That was supposed to be the item shop. Oh, I see. Hmm. I still want that to be the item shop. So maybe what I just put together, I can have right here. Because this I do want to have, have this one be a house. And that'll work really well. So this, this will go into that house. So I actually need to go and change this to be different. So instead of transferring there, I need to transfer here. Okay, great. All right, and then let's just see if we can grab an item shop real quick. I didn't even finish that item shop. Okay, let's do uh, winter rest. There's an item shop here. Um, that's nice. Let's see. So let's, yeah, let's go ahead and copy this item shop and put it here in the mountain village and we're going to change it so that it's a bit different i mean it looks it looks really nice um okay so it looks nice but let's like change everything about it yeah you know what let's let's just change pretty much everything about it. So I'm going to grab this and boom, that's the new floor. And then this is, nope, that was not right. That's the way. Okay, perfect. Um, so I'm actually going to move this light over here and I'm going to add another light there. And I'm going to take this guy, it's going to go in the middle because that's where, where the cells are going to take place. Drop those on there, awesome. And we're gonna take this and run it along there, great, all right. There should still be enough space for all of the, the items to go. The 
be fine. But I will take a look at this item shop for inspiration. Oh, and there's a little um, thing in front. I like that. That's kind of nice. So let's let's go ahead and put something like that uh, right here. Wait, is that in? Yeah, that was from Edge to Edge. Okay. Great, so let's put something like that um, in the item shop. Uh, only let's make it this this darker one. I'm not sure that that looks quite right. There, there. That, I think, ought to look... That ought to work just fine because it's, uh, it's a very simple thing. I do wonder if we want to get rid of that, though. Uh, no, not like that. Oh, it's because I've got um, this one. Yeah, got the edges. Okay, uh, that should be fine. Then it looks like that. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to this one and I'm uh, going to make a square of it. There we go. That way I can grab this center part right here and then I can hold shift to, there we go, to get rid of these parts of it. That way it doesn't look like, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't clash oddly. Okay, that'll be good. All right, so now to populate the item shop. Uh, this guy's in here, and that works out really well. Let's see, what kind of things do we have in the item shop? So we've got a table full of goods. We've got, um, yeah, pen and paper, barrel, just some random things here and there, bookshelves. Okay, so you've got an idea of what's in there. Let's go ahead and start populating it. So we're going to need something like, like this something like this over here. Great, that'll work. Actually, these are tons of useful looking items, like for an item shop. Okay. Nope, that's not gonna work. But maybe something like this, and yeah, yeah just kinda some more random miscellaneous stuff out here. Ah, good. That'll work. And um, what else do we have? Big table full of stuff down there. So we're just gonna have some other like random stuff here, like on a table. Stuff right by the door. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see. How how do we want to add more stuff? Maybe one of these sides, like maybe maybe over here instead of that, we can actually have a little table over here with items on it. so you can still walk around here and through there. Okay, yeah, that might actually work out fine. Um, then C, I think, is where we're gonna find a lot of the items we want to set out. Hmm. Is that good? Is that kind of what we're looking for? Hmm. Now, what kind of stuff would they have here in the mountain? Uh, we'll put some rope there, that'll be really nice. And uh, maybe even a pickaxe. Maybe, I don't know about that one. Let's see, what other kind of stuff do they have here in the um, other item shop? I keep losing it, there we go. We've got little jars and bags and like baskets of stuff. We've got some things on this counter too. Yeah. Right 
right, so just maybe some empty jars there. Okay, that'll work. That'll work. We've got like a basket of food, some old scrolls over here. coming together pretty well. Let's see what else are we missing. Not really much else. It's just got some random things around here. Okay. Good. It's coming out fine. I have like a, an old worn out map here. I do want a picture this picture up above his head there. Great. Um, and also some shelves. Nope, this thing. There we go. Let's find something like that. Okay, great. All right, this is start starting to shape up maybe a couple of little, um, you know, display stands for clothes. Maybe just a couple things right over here okay I think that's good that's our item shop and that'll work so mr. item shop actually needs to be a bit different so instead of this guy well we'll just have this dude right here and he's going to say say in this guy's face because he's different. I would say what do you need? It says uh, um, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for stopping by. What do you need? And that should Welcome back. How can I help you? Works really well too. Okay, great. I will need to change what he's selling, but at least he's saying something different now. He's a different person, so <laughs> that's going to be all right. Okay, that works out um, with that. And where is this going? This is going to interest. And that's not where it's supposed to go. So we're going to quick transfer to outside of the mountain village right there. That's where the shop's going to be. Okay. And in the mountain village, we'll create a door. And we're going to have that go into the item shop. Perfect. And let's add something out here. I think there's a sign that we can do this one, right? That says, hey, I'm an item shop, right? Yeah, that'll work. Good. Okay. So we've got our item shop. Perfect. And uh, we have the inn. We have the house. Here, let's, let's actually mark the inn as well because that way then we'll know, the player will know that that's the inn. <laughs> okay. The inn and the item shop. House. House. And then that can be uh, maybe a little weapon shop there. So I need another house. Let's go back to the desert and grab another one. This is nice. We're just grabbing houses from the desert. Uh, desert house there. Three, four, five. What variation do we want? This is nice. I like that variation. Yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and grab this one. I like that one. That'd be really, really good mountain village. Paste that in there. So this is going to be house two mountain. So two and mountain. Okay. And that is groovy gravy. Um, so we need that one and. 
there. Perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna try to keep this as much like uh, it is right now as I can. Don't wanna change too much of it. Great. Okay, so I'm gonna fill out the roof there. So I've got a shelf with bags on it and a shelf with books on it. Okay, shelf with bags and a shelf with Excellent. And then this one was just the top of that, which actually we could do that one. That might be fun. Just a little variation. And so the rest of this looks good, except let's see, I did want, oh yeah, just all, all wooden floor on this one. Yeah. All wooden floor on this one because that's, that's how we're going to do it here in the mountains. So let's go ahead and for that area. We'll get those beds back. Nope. There and there. Good. Okay. Now having some rope there makes a lot of sense. That's great. So I'm going to put that rope back. There it is. Great. Now a couple buckets there. That's where the table is and the chairs. Maybe I should have a little carpet here in this area. Ah, maybe not. Okay, so I've got an empty bucket and a full bucket. Let's take a look. I think that's in B as well. So we've got bucket and full bucket. There. Not in the same space. And we've got a table and two chairs, one on top and one to the right. So table right there, two chairs like that. Okay, great. Two stools, those are just uh, sitting stools to sit on. And then maybe I can add a little like wash bucket over here in the corner. Okay, great. Um, Awesome, is that it? I think that will work. So that's house number two for us. Wow, is that it? Yeah, yeah, let's just leave it like that. House number two, and we're going to need to link it up. So we'll get rid of that. Quick transfer. To link it up outside. Got Mountain Village. Which one was it? Yeah, this one, because that one I think I'm gonna make a weapon shop. Great, this will work. Uh, oh, this is supposed to have a fireplace. That's right, because look, it's got a chimney right over here. Oh, all right, so how, how do we want to do that? So I can actually expand this, which might be kind of nice. Um, okay, so something more like this. Um, let's take a look. Have like a, a little chimney over here. That's too close. Wow, what is that all about? Um, that might actually be too close, so let's bump this over here. Let's grab this whole thing and move it out a couple. Ah, uh, maybe just one. One should be fine, yeah, and then this has that, that little area right there. Or we can even drop this down one more again so we can just move over just like that and drop this down here and then have this be right over there which actually if we're going to do that let's drop this down one more then we can have like a nice little seating area over there which would be lovely 
It would just be nice. Okay, bump that over just one more. Just so it's over to that side just a little bit. Okay. Oh, good. That would be really nice. And then we can do just a, a little, you know, stone area. And maybe something like this with a little table and a chair. So I can actually lower that rope down there. I've got a little table chair and I'm gonna put a bookshelf right over here. Right there. Yeah, bookshelf right there. Oh, that'd be nice. Just a, a nice little cozy place to be. I'm wondering if I should put something else around there. But there isn't like a you know, a fire poker or anything. Not that I can see. So anyway, I think this would be really nice. Just a, a nice little area over here. Actually, to distinguish it from this one over here, maybe I should make this into a little square stool. Maybe right there? No. That doesn't make too much sense either, unless we make uh... nah, no, no, no. Okay, let's just keep it this way. Let's just keep it like this. All right, cool. That looks nice. It looks very cozy. Um... something to break up this area, but I'm not sure what. Hmm. Okay, well, let's just leave it for now, just like that. And this, I think, is still going to the exact right place. Going to the right place for sure. So we're good on that. But this one is not going to be going. Oops, not that. Oh, I haven't even added this one yet. So now I get to add it. And. Where did that go? What on earth? What did I do? Okay, let's see. Create a door. There, okay. I don't know why. I, I must have just hit OK before setting the location. All right, there we go, so that works. And then just one more place. Let's just make a, a quick little uh, weapon shop over here. And then that's all the time we've got. Um, but that is some really good progress. We've filled out several towns. We're almost, almost done. Uh, let's take a look actually one more time. The, the um, city of Ishmar area. So we, Hobrook is done. Osted is done, Winterrest is done, Inar is done, Tawak is about to be done. Once we're finished with that, all we have is the city of Ishmar and Tidon, which Tidon has actually destroyed quite a bit and we've created a bunch of tents, so that's pretty much done too. We are very nearly there with all of the mapping for everything, which is a really good deal. Okay, so let's go ahead and take and create a weapons and armor shop. This actually is really good. And maybe we can do something similar to this. Okay, something similar. Actually, the item shop, it's a little bit smaller. Okay, I'll tell you what, I'm going to take the item shop and I'm going to make it into a weapon shop. So, I'm going to add that here and I'm going to do this. Uh, we have on weapon shop. Okay, great, that'll work. Um, but I'm going to 
change it completely, obviously, so it's something totally different than this. And I am going to take some cues from that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and fill this with wood um, on the floor. Alright, let's just do it. Whole entire wooden floor. And we're going to take this and do all of that. And we'll go ahead and leave the lights just the way they are because that works fine. These windows, we're going to put them in place as well. We're going to do very much a similar thing, only this guy we're going to have surrounded by marble. Because he's got weapons. I mean, those would scratch up a wooden surface so fast. And he doesn't want to do that. So it's going to be a little bit more marbly. Um, let's see, the mountain village, it's it's a little weapon shop and actually it does not look like a log cabin at all. And that house shouldn't look all log cabin-y either because it's not. But that house should be. So that house is very log cabin -y. But this one needs to look a little bit different. It's got this, this wooden roof and the straight wooden panels for its um, sides. So let's actually grab this. There we go. Would this work out for the uh, walls? that'd work out just fine. No, that looks a little too modern, so I do need to stick with this wood here. Or maybe this? This this isn't. No, that's like flooring, right? No, I don't know what these tiles are. This is floor. This, this is a little bit different. Maybe we should do that. Have the floor go a different way. Okay, so for right now, actually, let's just go ahead and save it the way it is and finish up the weapon shop, which is going to be something a little bit different. In fact, let's go ahead, since we're at the beginning, and completely update the floor. So it all runs that way going to be a little bit better. And we also want to take this. Nope, that was not what I meant. I meant to do something like that. Okay, great. And I actually think I want to remove this light because I want to kind of put something like this over there. if I can do that. Yeah, I mean, that might work really well. Okay, so this also needs to change. Let's change that. And this needs to change to that, which also I'm going to need to get rid of these. But I can replace those. Ah, uh, we've gone over our time. much there right at the moment. But 
this place just in case this this guy can do some of this work. an anvil, a cooling thing, and some tools on the table to make it look a little better. So let's have an anvil right over there. And where's that um, like water cooling trough thing? BMC, there we go. So actually, yeah, it doesn't even need to be an, an anvil. It can be a table-like like that. Does that make sense? I don't know if that makes sense. I don't know that that one makes sense either. So actually, I, I think I want the water up there. And then this, this stone right there. Okay, great. Um, Let's see, what else do I need for the weapons armor shop? There's a lot of different weapons all over the place, on tables, and kind of armors and things. So, I'm going to need a couple tables here in the corner, like that. Good. And then we can add a bunch of different, like, weapons and stuff. Nope. There. Daggers over there. There we go. Maybe a helmet here. Okay, random odd stuff. There we go. Oh, that's that's starting to come together. Looking good. Here, put some spears on the wall. Um, I do want one of these cabinets somewhere. No. So maybe, oh yeah, maybe it's right there. Okay, great. Um, add a few more things. And armor stand. There, what else do we have? I know we're a bit over. Oh yeah, so we've got like some swords and stuff that we can put on the wall. Oh, that's a cool looking sword thing. Okay. Build on the wall maybe. So have some swords up here like that. Got, um, yeah, so some of these here. No, that's a little too much. Well, I guess we could put that right there. All right, so these spears have got to go. No, I don't know. I do, I do, well, no, no, no. Okay, so, so yeah, these, these spears need to go. And actually, this guy, I want to move up here. It's like right there. And then I want this spear rack here. Great. Okay. And then this, yeah, the sword stand right there. Okay, perfect. That'll work out great. And then... What else? Is something else back here. Maybe, um... Axes. Okay. Yeah, okay. So I think that's going to work. couple more things, uh, just a couple more helmets out here, stuff like that. Alright, I think that's probably pretty good. 
It looks a little too messy. I think things are a little bit messy here. Okay, anyway, I'm just going to leave it like that for right now, and I'm going to save it. And that's where we're going to end for the day. Um, so we've made a lot of good progress. We've gotten this this town, the Mountain Village, complete. Actually, let's, let's complete it. We don't have a complete fight yet, so we're going to transfer these guys out of the weapons shop into the Mountain Village. They're just going to be right there. Okay, and then in the Mountain Village, we've got the weapon shop, which is going to have a door transfer into the weapon shop. Right there. Excellent. And let's just give this uh, really quick a, a um, what is it, a little sign on there. Here we'll do uh, weapon armor on that. So we finished the um, mountain town and we finished a couple other towns and, and there's a lot that is done. This is really good progress. So now we just have Ishmar left and the north town which is pretty much all done too and that's what we're going to be working on next time but until then thanks for watching bye